guys and welcome back to my channel so it's been a very long time i think since i've done a clothing haul so today i decided to overcompensate for that and do like a giant fashion haul with all the summer related fashion stuff that i have bought and that i have been gifted as well there's some clothing there's loungewear there's innerwear and there's accessories most of the items i'm going to show you are available online so i'm going to put details of every single item like the brand name links to buy them as well as prices wherever relevant in the description box below so please click show more and check that out there's a lot of stuff so i'm going to try not to blabber too much and let's just get into it decided to start with the accessories first because they're just two things and i might as well show them to you right away the first thing that i have just recently got is this beautiful rupiya clutch from this indian leather brand called vitasta the best thing about this clutch and the thing that made me fall in love with it is it's not one piece it's two pieces so have a look here uh there's a little like a smaller clutch in here and it's got this cute tassel keychain element it's very colorful and cute so this one says rupya which is the hindi word for money i found that my phone my iphone 6 plus which is a big phone fits in it like really perfectly it's engraved with my initials here another element of this clutch that really delighted me is look at how attractive the lining looks it's seriously one of the most beautiful linings i've ever seen I have an outfit post featuring this clutch up on my blog. So the next thing I bought is a pair of shoes from Clarks. It's called the Orla Betty shoes. So would you believe me if I tell you that I've been lusting over these shoes for over a year? Yeah, it's like one whole year since I first laid eyes on these shoes. I love everything Clarks makes. If you go on my blog and you check the Clarks label and you're going to see how many things I have and I even bought my mum like one or two pairs. I think it was one pair. So they have just beautiful designs and again everything's made in leather most of the time. This is from last year's collaboration with British designer Orla Kelly. I think that's how her name is pronounced. I really like all of her designs because they're very retro inspired and they just look really cute. But obviously she's a huge designer and I would not be able to afford to buy any of her stuff. So when like she had a collaboration with Clarks I was so excited and there are a few different pairs there are some flats there are some other platforms and heels but this one was the one that I loved the most it's available in two colors this is the blue one and there's also like the tan one so this is a patent leather block heel shoe and it's got a little bit of platform in front also as you can see and the pricing was definitely a bit on the premium side like even by clark standards clark's is not the cheapest brand but this was even more premium pricing so i was a bit surprised by that and i thought it was just because like there was a big name involved there was a huge designer involved and that's why they could jack up the prices but when i have this in my hands now i can actually see that the quality is like really superior even to the clarks ones and that's saying something because general clark shoes also are really nice but this one like it really looks like very good there are these nice things that you wouldn't find in every shoe first of all though it is a heel shoe um the foot's not in a really bad position as you can see i can't wear heel shoes where your foot is like this you know they hurt me too much but here yeah, your foot is pretty like flattish it's not much and it still gives you a good boost of height it's got lovely cushioning here on the heel and also here where the balls of your feet would hit so that like you can be in these shoes all day and they're not going to make you uncomfortable they're not going to hurt you or spoil your feet and then another like cute little element is look at the bottom of this it's got the signature orla kelly print even at the sole which i thought was the cutest thing ever i didn't even notice it right away but it's really cute i've already worn this on one outfit post on the blog and i realized that the color is something that's like so versatile like dark blue with this bright pop of orange here that it can go with so many things in my wardrobe it's comfortable and it's really nice i'm so glad i bought this the reason i waited a year is because i think these shoes costed like 12000 rupees uh when they were just released and I am not really down for spending that much on a pair. I have a couple of pairs that I have spent a lot of money on like my Doc Martens and my Hunter Rain boots, 
but I couldn't feel like I could justify this. Plus, it was not available in most stores, I think. So I couldn't even try it on and see it for myself and figure out whether I should take the plunge and spend so much of money. So I pushed it to the back of my mind and I browse the Clark's website regularly. I bought more shoes of theirs online than I bought in the stores. And I saw that this was on discount and I got this on 60% discount. Even on discount, this was quite a pretty penny. It was definitely not cheap, but it was a lot cheaper than they were at full price. And I'm ecstatic that I bought them because I was having this moment where I was like, should I, shouldn't I? But this is the best decision ever. Now we're going to get on with the clothes. First, I have a few dresses to show you from this website called Stock by Love. I regularly get stuff from Stock by Love because I really like everything that they have. And they have a lot of different items. They have like tops, they have dresses, they have jumpsuits. And I've worn quite a few Stock by Love outfits on my blog as well. But since it was summer, I was really feeling like the light summery dresses that they had. So the first dress that I got is this very light like denim not even denim it's like a chambray so it looks like denim but it's very very light and cottony this is a short dress and it's got like this white lace detailing here i think it looks really pretty it's almost like the western shirt type of design since it's a short dress there are buttons all the way to the bottom of course and it's also got a sash which is really nice because I find that you know short dresses on their own can often be pretty shapeless so you need something to cinch them and it was handy that this has loops and its own sash it's got like an interesting detail at the back wherein like some part of the back is open as you can see I wouldn't call this a full backless but a lot of the upper back is visible in this which I actually did not realize when I was ordering it. That's my bad. It was very clearly shown in the pictures. So it was a bit of a surprise for me. But I like showing off bits of my back. So I didn't mind it. The only thing is the like the cutout at the back. Like this part. The lower part. It gapes a little low. So if I wear like a regular bra. Um, you know you, sometimes you can see the band of it. Like I haven't worn this dress out yet. I'm going to soon. But you can see the band of the bra. So I'm going to use like some kind of bra that I don't mind showing off because otherwise even if I wear a strapless bra and the straps are not visible from the back, the band is slightly visible. I have a bra with me that you're going to see really soon that I think would go quite nicely on this. Next dress from Stock by Love is this beauty, also technically a short dress and it's got the most lovely like, I don't know, tie and dye print and it's like indigo and white. And looks really nice. I was so in love with this dress. Tank top detail. Shirt dress. Again, it's got buttons all the way till the bottom. There's a large space at the bottom where there isn't any button. So it, it works sort of like a slit. like a, So a little bit of your leg comes through. I think it's a very pretty dress. Very easy to wear. And I love the way the colors are popping on this. So I'm very pleased with this one. Another stock by love dress. And this is also a light chambray like the one I showed you at the beginning. In fact, this feels even lighter and it's like got this little, I don't know what you would call this, like a trim around the collar. It's sleeveless, it's cut a bit on the deep side. And then it's like just, it goes like that. It's sort of, you know, it doesn't really have a waist or anything. This, this is like your neck or your collar and then it just sort of flares out like this. It has loops where you can put in a belt or a sash, but it didn't really come with any belt or sash. I do have a lovely like a sort of a shoelace slash rope belt that I got with another dress that I'm going to show you that I like styling it with because it's white in color and it coordinates with this collar trim and it goes perfectly. The fourth and final dress from Stock by Love is one that I just got yesterday and I'm really in love with it. It's this black color dress and it has straps as you can see which are also adjustable but it is also an off shoulder dress. As you might have guessed from all my dress choices until now, in summer I prefer dresses that are sort of nice and flowy and they have a little room and you can twirl in them and you know I don't like dresses that stick to the body too much, anything remotely like a bodycon dress. I wouldn't touch it in summer, I just like dresses that kind of flow out nicely. This is also one of those. Monochrome combination never goes out of style. So this has got this white 
pom pom trim that adds a really fun detail and a lot of you guys would think that you can't wear black dresses in the summer because black attracts heat but i have two black dresses in this haul and they're both very much summer dresses i think you can definitely wear black dresses in the summer in daytime especially if they're made of light fabrics and especially if they're like a little bit loose a little bit flowy not your lbd types i think it works perfectly so when i wore this i really enjoyed just twirling around in it next i have one dress from this brand called nico bar it's quite a new label i did a vlog when i went to the launch party of nico bar so you can check that out if you'd like so this is a new label from the same people that have good earth and i love everything that good earth makes so i knew that i would like nico bar stuff as well it's a label inspired by travel and it's got just these beautiful light pieces that look so pretty and they're so like they're easy pieces they're very classy but they're still very easy you know like nothing is too fussy or too structured it just looks very sort of bohemian but also chic so i picked up one dress from the launch party because i could not resist it's this beautiful gray and white linen and cotton dress and it's got a chevron print so racer back quite a long dress i would say the length is about a midi length and at the bottom it's got this very cute trim with pleats it reminds me of like a very grannyish print but in a good way and towards the bottom here it's even got this little patch of embroidered roses with leaves that i think looks nice so i do love the way this dress looks the way it flows but one thing that uh, like i didn't like about it So I did notice this when I tried it on but I still like the dress overall a lot so I went with it is that you know though it looks kind of a flowy dress like it's it's tight on the chest or whatever and then it's tight and it's actually like tight ish kind of fitting till your stomach and your butt and then it kind of flows out like generally if a dress is flowy it's like tight over your bust and then it goes flare from that right like at your waist but this one it's like tight on all the top parts and it's tight even till your waist and your butt and it flares out from there so the way that this dress doesn't work so well for me is that I'll admit like many girls I think I am carrying a little bit of extra weight on my stomach and I haven't really been going to the gym or anything that often and by that I mean never so this kind of makes that little bit of stomach like too visible either i shouldn't have bought this dress so either i should start going to the gym but i'm still in love with the vibe of this dress and i do want to buy more stuff from nico bar but their things are pretty expensive so i'm going to hold off on that for now next i have another shirt dress and this one is from one of my favorite denim brands levi's i attended a styling workshop for bloggers with levi's again this is something that i did vlog and they gave everybody these beautiful new shirt dresses to take away and i really 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 like this one so it's from their new like indigo collection the indigo collection is a slightly more premium new line from levi's and what's special about it is that the clothes have been dyed with indigo which is a natural dye um, if you studied in an indian school obviously you would have learned about indigo in like india it was grown historically and that was one of the crops that was the most profitable for the east india company so i like that they are reviving indigo a natural dye and it's got a very lovely rich blue color it's got like a polka dot detail on it i'm not really sure how clear it is to you but it's got minuscule dots on it the dots become even more special when you look at the back of it because the dots are actually part of the weave So it's not like it's a print or something. They've actually taken this white fabric in and out, in and out, and that's what gives the dots on the outside. So the back of it has got like a nice, like a minuscule stripy design. A nice, like a full sleeve shirt dress. Then I prefer wearing it by folding the sleeves, but you can wear it totally full sleeve as well. And all the buttons are push button. So push buttons are very easy to handle but they also make you worried like you know if this dress like you if you wear this dress and it's really fitting then like I was I wore it to dinner once and when I was sitting down like one of the bottom buttons popped out so that's something that you need to be a bit 
careful about and it's got this like a light i won't really call it a uh, high low or anything it's just like the u shaped like if you've seen men's shirts um the bottom is not straight but it's got this slight like u design so the dress has that as well and has two functional pockets too i wore this one day to fashion week and it was a very like a hard working dress and felt comfortable and nice it is however reasonably heavy weight denim so in some ways that's nice because it's good quality but it's not like a dress that i would wear if i'm going out like in this mumbai summer and i'm going to be outdoors a lot because it's very hot outdoors so i would pick a lighter dress but if you're going to be in slightly like a cooler or more air conditioned environment this dress goes really well and this dress came with this little like rope <laughs> slash shoelace tie which works very nicely to cinch the waist because as i mentioned shirt dresses can be like a little bit shapeless so you need to try and put some belt or something to cinch the waist and this is the same tie that i also use with this stock by love dress because it complements it very well so i'm grateful that this tie was included now let us stay on the topic of denim only i got this lovely jacket from Peppy Jeans and what makes this jacket very special is that it was part of their Peppy Jeans custom studio thing that they have now at their store in Mumbai the one on Linking Road and you can actually like personalize your denims a lot you can get studs you can get painted you can get it distressed or you know you can get it lasered like tattooed there were a lot of options if you're into really customizing your denims but i like to keep it clean and simple so my design just includes these three studs like three on each side of the collar at the back i got this lovely david boy design lasered on like aladdin sane and i got my tattoo after that it's upside down right now which matches this jacket so for this design like everything that's white as you can see the whole thing was done via laser printing or laser etching or whatever it's called and it was so amazing because i saw the whole process right in front of my eyes and i did vlog that too and it's just it's like stunning because it happens so fast you can choose whatever design you want you can get your name done and it's like so fast the jacket itself is from their 73 denim collection i have a pair of jeans from the same collection as well it's nice it's pretty heavy weight like that like it actually weighs a lot so it's not like an everyday denim jacket to wear outside in the summer but I like the style of it and I did carry it with me when I went to Delhi because it's a nice heavy jacket and also when I went to Goa and I feel really cold when I'm flying so I put this on and it was nice and warm enough also it's like a nice stretchy fabric which is very good and it's got like these little pockets on the outside on both sides it's also got this pocket here which is very cool my mom called it a chore pocket like which basically means a pocket to keep your stuff from thieves and you can put like my phone would easily fit here or like you can put any important documents extra money it's the same on both sides and i thought that was a very interesting design element so this is unlike any denim jacket i've ever seen and i'm really happy this is part of my wardrobe now i have a beautiful shift dress that was sent to me by this brand called chic house i think yeah it's spelled chic with a c h i q u e so they are available in a few places and this brand is also available on pernia's pop up shop they had quite a lot of really pretty designs of dresses pants um jumpsuits i think and i decided to go with this dress because i really like the print on it and what i like about this is you know since the fabric of the dress is a bit on the sheer side it's actually fully lined which is very nice so you don't have to worry about it being transparent and it's got pockets on both sides and they are functional pockets because in a lot of women's clothing you find that like it looks like it has a pocket but there's actually no pocket it's just a design i find it to be quite structured and yeah it looks formal and it's also like a reasonably conservative dress i love the combination of the dark blue with, along with the pastel pink and like pastel baby blue thing going on here here i have another dress and this is the only thing i think featured here that i didn't get from india this is from this british brand called alice's pig i know it's a very interesting name but i think it's supposed to be like alice's pig from alice in wonderland they contacted me and asked me if i'd like to like check out something from their website and style it they had mostly dresses and all the dresses had names again which i found adorable 
this was the dress I ended up liking the most. This is beautiful peachy pink color and it's got a dark blue shamrock print on it. Incidentally, I think it goes perfectly with this dress and I've even styled both of them together already. So it's got a collar here and it's sort of like a half shirt dress, meaning, you know, the, there are buttons and it's like a shirt until the waist. And after that, it's just like a regular straight dress. There are no buttons or anything. This also comes with a sash, so you can cinch it at the waist. I think the whole design of the dress is very vintage inspired. It looks like something that I've thrifted or that I borrowed from my mom or something. And I mean that in the best way possible. So if you like vintage and retro clothing, I think you'll really like this brand on the whole. Next, I bought a couple of things from Coombs. I have professed my love for Coombs on numerous occasions. I've done previous Coombs hauls on this channel as well. So this time I didn't go all out crazy, but I just bought like two things. The first one is this dress from this brand called JDY, which is Jacqueline de Jong. I was not familiar with this brand, but apparently it's just one of the sub brands of only, like you know, Vero Moda and only their sister brands. I'm in love with this print. That's the thing that attracted me to the dress in the first place because I know it's just a floral print, but the color combination, the design, I just find it to be very, very attractive, like all the different colors. And I've worn this dress out like twice already though I bought it pretty recently and because I'm really in love with it and the front of it it's just like a regular tunic dress it's got like darts so that it gives you a little shape around your bust but other than that it's just like a pretty like a straight dress and it doesn't have any gathers or anything in the front of it and at the back it's got this little button on the top it's actually got these gathers at the back like I would usually think that you would put a design element like this in the front, but no, the gathers are at the back of the dress. I still think it's very interesting a dress that I can style in a number of ways. I can style with different pairs of shoes because of all the colors and I can wear like hot pink lipstick on it, also purple because there's purple flowers on it. Again, this was another dress that I was a bit unsure of when I was picking it out online, when I was buying it, but I'm so happy I bought it because I know that I'm going to shamelessly repeat this outfit many, many times. Here I have just a, like a casual plain top from Coops. This is just like a summer everyday top that you can style with either jeans or like shorts or something. It looks really nice, but it's sort of a deepish like grassy green color and it's got like a black melange thing going through it. Nice light fabric, it's sleeveless and it's got like this sort of little cut out at the back that I think it's nice because it gives you like a little peekaboo show of your back but at the same time it doesn't disrupt whatever bra you're wearing you can just wear a regular bra with this without worrying because of this part next I have a couple of things that I recently picked up on a trip to forever 21 the first thing I liked was the second black summer dress that I talked about it's this beautiful crepey tunic dress it's like a very light crepe fabric similar to a lot of dupattas and it's got like these longish like almost full sleeves and they're sort of like belt sleeves I would say so uh, the silhouette is very 70s to me I've already done an outfit post with this at the back here it's got like a small little back cutout nothing too crazy yeah this is just the cutout at the back since the dress is very simple and it's just like like doesn't really have any gathers just bell sleeves and whatever i think this back cutout adds like an interesting element to it and i was trying to figure out what bra i would wear with it and i picked up a bra from the forever 21 sports section it's technically a sports bra at the same time and i saw that they went so perfectly together it is this one right here it's black and white it's one of their low impact sports bras i have mentioned in my first bra haul video on this channel that I love checking out Forever 21 for their sports bra section because some of the bras have like sort of interesting backs like this one here. Let me show you what it looks like. So you can use it as a layering item if you're wearing a dress or a top that's sort of low back or backless. You can layer it with a sports bra like this. It's padded also which is slightly better. It's got a nice light padding so you don't have to worry about anything showing through. This bra goes perfectly with this dress and it goes perfectly with a few other things that I have also. So I'm very pleased that I picked it up. So I have two new bras that I bought from Vakol. 
uh, I did a Vakul haul on my channel some time ago which was my first purchase from Vakul that too was two bras so I got two more things from Vakul and if you see my Vakul haul you'll see that the second item was a nude lacy bralette and now I bought the black version of the very same bralette it's got this convertible clip at the back where you can clip these two together and convert it into a racer back bra in case you're wearing it with a racer back top it's very delicate pretty unpadded great for everyday wear with this one and I decided to kind of buy another bra that matches this only but this is more bra than bralette so this is the one that I got as you can see the design is like rather similar but this is a triangle bralette and this is a proper bra very sheer lace and it's just very pretty and delicate here too it's just got another layer of fabric like over the bust so that you know it's not completely transparent and when you put it on it's not transparent it's not padded in the least um, the lace and the whole fabric is quite stretchy and I like this detail here the strap can you see like how the strap is attached I think it looks very beautiful underwired but it's not padded uh, finally in like loungewear come nightwear whatever you would like to call it really I have this beautiful like duster or coat that you wear at home uh, from pretty secrets just look at how pretty this is so it's a very silky fabric i don't think it's really silk but it's just silky and shiny to give it a very luxurious look and it's got this little lace trim but the lace is sort of nude lace it's not white lace otherwise it sort of complements this set pretty well except that this is nude and this is white it's about knee length and this is the kind of coat that you keep around your house like in the morning say if you sleep in very skimpy nightwear uh, then in the morning before you change into your clothes like if someone rings the bell or whatever you just want to be presentable and you just want to cover up a little bit more you wear a coat like this